Okay, this is a video on Birkeland currents. As you can see in the videos, uh, Birkeland currents are tubes within tubes within tubes. And energy attracts matter, and matter covers energy. So what you are seeing on the screen is an energy tube, a Birkeland current, a field, an electromagnetic field line coming out of the ground, attracting matter, which then forms light as it pulses. Light is released on the way down. Um, they're also rotating. This one here um, is a funnel. So the energy is going up and then back. So uh, what should happen is, as you saw there, the current just collapsed. And so the uh, matter surrounding the tube was released because the field line withdrew. I've got several of these videos, I've uh, gone over the net and had a look at them. Again, they're from Russia, Norway, America, all around the world. I've tried to stay to the ones that, that are real and don't look fake. Um, these are energy tubes coming out of the ground and the matter is covering the energy. Just to prove that, this is a cloud that has a magnetic field band in it that is fluctuating. And as you can see, the band keeps moving and the matter is drawn to it and illuminated. Again proving that even in clouds there are magnetic fields which flux around due to the fact of differing voltages. And so the field lines expand and contract pulling matter with it because energy attracts matter, matter covers energy and then energy moves matter. Now the next one I'm going to show you comes back to my uh, analogy for voltage 2 to voltage 1 of either a lightning strike or if you've seen in my previous videos um, I show a sperm entering an egg and here we see a toroidal energy tube um, it's like a sperm so I'm expecting matter to come out of the end of this as it does because there is a Z pinch at the end there which uh, concentrates all the energy and the matter into one focal point and releases matter And this one seen near the Arctic. It's a good example here because we have tubes upon tubes upon tubes all rotating in different directions. And there it is. The energy has attracted the matter uh, in the large ring of the cloud band above. And then the tubes coming down, obviously at a different voltage. So they will show up at different voltage levels as light. So the different voltage level below shows a brighter spot because there's more energy for that amount of matter there. So we have our full on tube and then we have tubes inside tubes inside tubes. Thank you. My name is Lee and I'm an engineer.